Promise y'all I was coming with the reviews. Watch me get deep down into the burn because y'all know I burned them like the Tomb Raider before I hop on here and give y'all the tea. Now we have pink sugar, rose, and sweet raspberry. Y'all, pink sugar is always going to be a berry infused sugar. For somebody who bake, um, taking sun dried fruit, mixing it with sugar, just like lemon zest and making lemon sugar, it is a real thing. Now you take that chill rosé and the sweet raspberry i'm telling you this is one of the ones where as soon as the heat touched the wax you're going to get that boom like a burst of a tart then turn sweet raspberry think about like you put a frozen raspberry in your mouth and you just got that burst so ooh. That little acidic, that mm, that little tingle to the back of your throat, that raspberry, you're going to get that. And you're going to get a sweetness from that raspberry. So let's just call that the pink sugar. The rosé that's in here doesn't come across with the effervescence of a rosé. I felt like the effervescence of a rosé, that sparkling, that, that fizz, that bubble, that pop, would it give it? That, that element of, okay, this is a true rosé slash frosé candle. Nonetheless, there is like a little subtleness from it there, but not a lot. That citrusy raspberry, sweet raspberry is going to take over, making it out there on, well, that was in my bedroom. The bedroom open concept, I have to give it an eight with a medium to high on projection i say medium to high because the first two days it was bright it was loud and then after that it kind of toned itself out so by the time i move it to this room look at where the candle is again you still got that acidic raspberry you got that sweetness from the raspberry the rosé part not so much however back here in the beauty room it still stands as a good scent to fill the room with an eight but the a medium on projection so again this is halfway through the burn where it's not projecting as far as it did in the beginning and that's okay because the scent is still there and if you're anywhere like i am where it's heating up you got your ac on you got some good air circulation going on the candle scent will move around so i'm not disappointed with it at all and before i show you the open concept out there on the first two three burns it was loud um it pushed over into the dining room which made me give it a solid nine and medium on projection because it did not come across the kitchen counter but that's okay because it handled the two rooms now here's where i find fault with the raspberry because i got that pungent citrus acidic raspberry that's sweet makes me feel like okay so y'all had leftover fragrance oil let's just give them something we just came off of the raspberry thumbprint cookie. We came off a of fall release with croissant and whatnot where you do raspberry jam donut back in there, which is going to be top two and ain't two. Um, we got this Bridgerton release, which has raspberry wrapped up in there too. It's the sister of thumbprint cookie, if you ask me. And then you have Happy Hanukkah, which you had to clearance out super heavy that had a raspberry note as well. I'm just asking for the collective. Could we take a break on raspberry? I would, you know, if this was me, I would have went ahead with the frosé vibe. I get it. I probably would have went like a blueberry frosé. I probably would have went like a kiwi strawberry frosé. I kind of probably would have went with a pineapple mango frosé and turn up the volume on that effervescence. Because I think we just over the raspberry. Two things could be true at the same time. Me, I'm over it. I, I say me, I'm over it. Let me speak for me. Yet, it throws well and have good projection. Can't take from it what it is. I just don't need another. But tell me what y'all think about this one when y'all get it. Because if you're looking for a good throwing projection, she's going to be your girl. If you tie the raspberry, you're going to be like, mm, one and done.